she's one of the most sought-after stars in Hollywood. And Natalie Portman, 36, took a well-deserved break from life on screen as she enjoyed a family day out with her husband Benjamin Milpide, 40, as well as their two young children Adif and Amalia on Sunday in Pasadena, California. The Oscar-winning actress looked relaxed during her outing as she feasted on a pretzel while walking around the city's flea market with her darling 10-month-old daughter in her arms. Scroll down for video showcasing her off-duty style. The V for Vendetta star donned a pair of loose-fitting light-washed denims which were hung low on her hips as she soaked up the atmosphere. She teamed her boyfriend jeans with a simple black t-shirt and wrapped a sky-blue sweater wrapped around her waist while she pushed her daughter's pram. Keeping low-key, she worked her brunette tresses into a sleek top knot which she accessorized with a pair of circular white shades and draped her Dior handbag across her body. The film star's little one appeared to be taking a leaf out of her mother's activism work with the Time's Up campaign as she donned a t-shirt with the futurist female emblazoned across the front, putting a powerful message. Joining his long-term love, dancer Benjamin looked casually cool as he worked a pair of baggy black jogger which he teamed with a camouflage vest top. The Frenchman sported a navy blue baseball cap and a pair of shades while he draped a camera over his shoulder. No strings attached star Natalie fell madly in love with her husband Benjamin when they first met one another on the set of Black Swan in 2009. She was playing the lead role in the chilling movie while Benjamin was tasked with choreographing the dances. The Star Wars beauty confessed finding her husband was even better than winning an Oscar for her part as the tortured ballerina. Speaking at a Q&A session at the Vulture Festival at the Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel in November, Natalie I preferred finding the husband more. It was really special and making it was really wonderful and so fun. It was really incredible. The lovers tied the knotted Jewish ceremony in Big Sur, California in August 2012. As well as Amalia, the pair raised their six-year-old son Olive at their home in Los Angeles. The actress has a string of Academy Awards tied to her name after her stellar performances in Hollywood films including 2004's drama Closer and 2010's thriller Black Swan. Natalie's nod to the Time's Up's campaign comes after she threw shade on stage at the Golden Globe's Best Director's category. Presenting the honor, Natalie joined Ron Howard on stage to introduce the award for Best Director of a Motion Picture. The two followed a rousing speech by Cecil B. De Mille honoree Oprah Winfrey who had promised girls and young women watching the show that a new day is on the horizon. And when it came to announce those vying for the Best Director Award, Portman, who were black in support of the Time's Up movement, pointedly observed, and here are the all-male nominees. The five nominated directors had the grace to look somewhat sheepish in the aftermath. Swiftly reacted in praise of the actress for driving home a point that had been the theme of the whole evening, that women are not treated equally in Hollywood. Most of the female celebrities who attended the event at the Beverly Hilton wore black to show support for Time's Up, an initiative that seeks to promote equality, wage parity and inclusion and also has established the Legal Defense Fund for Victims of Sexual Assault. Me and my friends just bawled out eyes out at Oprah's speech. Then Natalie Portman was like hold my beer, tweeted on female account user. Another tweeted, I couldn't believe someone had to immediately follow Oprah and then Natalie Portman comes through with that. Some of Portman's fellow actresses also chimed in why, 